Though we are many, we are part of something. A force bigger than all of us. Our distinct fingerprints collectively shape you and forever changing. What makes you con? You con. Forever making your mark. Forever making you con a part of us. Hi folks and welcome back to EGFC week 12. I'm Waffles for Sid joined with Chef Billy and we are going to be bringing you the last match of the evening. Chef, we are about to move into our matchup of University of Colorado going up against University of Connecticut. What's on your mind? I mean, it's number one versus number three throughout the entirety of the EGF right now. Both teams are number one in their respective uh, conferences. We were just taking a look at that video. The Huskies obviously are a traditional sports powerhouse, but CU also uh, is. That's my home state. Well, when I moved to America, Colorado was my home state. Uh, so I, uh, yeah, I have a lot of love for Colorado. I actually toured the uh, campus of Boulder uh, back way back in the uh, early days, the dark ages as we were. But uh, I mean, looking at these two teams, there's not much separating them. I mean, two losses for UConn coming in. Mm -hmm. uh, Colorado has no losses on the season so far. So right. Ruby and company have really been taking teams to task here uh, in this spring split so far and throughout the entirety of the season. I mean, they have zero losses. So we're gonna start on Nepal. And I mean, the off tank battle has to be the first thing that we look at here, because Ruby is one of those people that we just know uh, comes prepared for game day. And I, I tell you what, I have been very, very happy uh, taking a look. So, you know, we'll see what is brought to bear by both teams here. Uh, Easy Dirk versus Ruby is gonna be my highlight matchup of the day. Both of these teams are going to be rolling out really fast too, Chef. Obviously, a uh, big difference on the DPS front with Yahoo on the May and Nels or Nel Nel S here on the Doomfist. Uh, Connecticut gonna opt for the high ground for this first push here towards the point Colorado has already set up, but. What a oh. nasty pin all the way through the point. A punch was just right before. That is going to be a huge advantage coming through for Connecticut to really take this point in their favor for this first fight. I mean, that's just disgusting. And uh, Nell S uh, was really the uh, the catalyst for getting all that done there. Uh, just getting punches and throwing people out of position. So the separation that was brought by the Doofus there. Now they're gonna have to deal with the turrets on the point. And then the one shot potential of, of uh, Nell S here on this Doomfist. Look at those ultimate charges for Yukon. The Huskies looking very, very sturdy going into this next fight. This teleporter is gonna give them a lot of variability on where they want to hold up and bunker down for their defense. Right now, the TP has been destroyed as Connecticut's going to continue to hold strong. Flashbang, but Nell S does make it out by the skin of his teeth. Ruby, though, is lethal. No survivors as she follows up on the low health. Now, Connecticut is continuing to try and push through. I heard an earth shatter, but I didn't see as much, many connections as I thought. Got canceled out by the corresponding one. Right now, Colorado here still trying to push forward on this most recent attack, but it's gonna be the Huskies holding this point. Oh man, fantastic oh. work out of them. Look at the bomb! What? Ruby getting you the full value oh, there. Now they're gonna be able to flip this point. Oh my gosh, yeah, what a beautiful throw into the corner coming in from Ruby here on University of Colorado. Big Blizzard gonna freeze up a couple people and that is the opportunity Colorado needed to take this point. Uh, but it's still very, very uh, expensive for them, and Ruby's going to be demexed here, probably. No, whoa, Divination saving a lot of people there. Oh, man. And, uh, you know, last time, or last week when we saw University of Colorado, Divination was an absolute lethality on the support, particularly on the Zenyatta. So don't want to underestimate his sharpshooting. Shatter available for University of Connecticut to try and get on this point with, try and get some people on their backs and let them go maybe with a uh, shatter bomb combo. 
Colorado waiting for Connecticut to slide into the attack zone here. A little scoping comes through from Cloud, but so far Connecticut waiting at the front. Where are they going to TP and attack into? There it is, moving forward. High ground is going to be a slugfest as Connecticut fills the kill feed and they're gonna look to continue this aggression towards the point, Chef. I mean, this is exactly what they needed here, and kills are going to come through. I don't know if uh, the buffs are going to be able to get back onto the point before this takes over to 100. So, I mean, good work there from the Huskies. They're going to take this point 100 to zip, uh, most likely. And, uh, I mean, you're looking at uh, TIS guys right now as the Ant Matrix to really burn them coming on the point. That is a tough ultimate to push into if you're Colorado. So much oncoming damage coming through that amp matrix. Now there's a wall online here for Connecticut as well. Ultimates are flying left and right, and it is absolutely deadly Whoa! in this small room with a doom fist. Holy cow, Chef Cloud absolutely clutching it out for his team. Oh my God, he got that meteor strike up so quickly. They just didn't deal with it. They didn't have the focus fire to take him down. I mean, look at this. Just the punches alone. And then you see the rocket punch going into the wall. Boom, boom, oh. dang, bang. You're done. Bye, bye. See you later. You know, Doomfist's one punch potential and the, just the huge amount of damage online is not something you can take lightly. A blizzard is thrown here from University of Colorado to give themselves some space. And <laughs> Connecticut just completely wiped out by it. Oh my word, and look at Ruby and Yahoo both showing up prominently in our feature there. Good gracious, this is last fight territory now. Self-destruct and the sound barrier are gonna be available to University to hold this first point. I spoke way too soon. Huskies oh no. ain't gonna have a chance to win this fight. Can they make it on the point? <gasps> Just in the nick of time, the OT bar is triggered. Diva Bomb does connect with the opposing Symmetra, and it's the sound barrier from Colorado trying to keep them alive in this fight. So much reinforced aggression enabled there after Bird Boys drops the bead, and there it is, Colorado clearing out the remnants of Connecticut, and they're gonna take our first round here on Nepal. I mean, let, let, let's give all the kudos to Cloud there. Uh, got that meteor strike through a photon barrier, mind you, uh, <laughs> and, and got all the extra value, and, and that's what turns this point. And then you see the other ultimates come up for CU. That's exactly what you want to see. I mean, Yahoo was an absolute menace on that May as well. They absolutely absolutely brought it to bear onto the Huskies. The Huskies have got to be scratching their heads. What does it take to win a point? That was a pretty close matchup too. Uh, they were not far off from taking that map from Colorado. So hopefully we'll see a little bit of cleanup coming through. Uh, loving the teleporters from both teams. Obviously everyone is trying to get there as fast as they can because, well, they want to take the positioning that's advantageous to them and their desired strategies. Right now, Connecticut's still working their way through the map and, oh wow, what a deadly roll through coming from Funkmaster. Takes down the main tank and that is going to be Colorado starting off strong for this first fight. Oh my God, that's just disgusting. Yeah, I'm once again, here we see the Zenyatta. We've seen Zenyatta once today. Here we see it again, uh, and absolutely coming to bear on the members of the Huskies. The Huskies uh, just did not know what hit them. Funkmaster, disgusting roll through, and now you've got all this extra pressure coming in. Yahoo's looking for the assassination in the back. You said they didn't know what hit them. It was Funkmaster rolling from behind. And well, it has been a constant nu nuisance and has been successfully teaming up with his DPS to capitalize on the low health targets. Connecticut moving around and whoo, everyone is crispy from Cloud's <laughs> Dynamite coming through. It's still a brawl here. As you can see, Bird Boy's trying to get that inspiration up, get those heals out for the team. A good stun comes through and there it is enough brawling to give the value he's looking for and everyone on Colorado topped off during that fight. Can we talk about Bird Boy's uh, Toreador impersonation there? Uh, your boys tried to pit out, he just said, Ole! Got out of the way and uh, completely sidestepped it. That was just the Dunsky for the Huskies. 
uh, and now see you. They've got ultimates online. These mines are going to be absolutely filthy. They're trying to do a little do -si do around the corner here. Wow, that was so much damage coming through from so many different angles onto Connecticut. Uh, Colorado had a great setup going into that, and with just the commitment of Minefield, have to be feeling good after that fight. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you hold on to both of your uh, DPS ultimates. You get to hold on to the Transcendence as well. So, I mean, there's not much that they have to really Oh, my oh, gosh. No. So, this Are you divination, this is, we saw this last week. Great trigger discipline and has to have the skill to have this risky of positioning from behind, continuing this aggression, continuing to move forward and try to cut through the members of Connecticut. Does fall low. That is a self-trance there to save themselves in the middle. And there it is, <laughs> Colorado coming through and uh, really oh. showing a different change of pace to win that second round. My goodness, Waffles, that was uh, that was crazy. I've never seen a Zen go on a flank like that. Here's the move, you though. last week, dude. <laughs> I, I, I know uh, family and everything going on. Oh. I mean, I, I, I feel like I, I've missed so much, but look at this cloud just absolutely Jeez, clowning on the Huskies here. Yeah, look at that. Double out of that, plus the mech take. That is exactly what you want wow. to see. Yeah. Number one in the country versus number three in the country right now. And Colorado made Sanctum look like a playground. That was their playground to deal with. The initial kill by Funkmaster going through, getting that roll through, getting up to 68% of the ultimate right there. There was nothing the Huskies to do. And you saw Yahoo and Divination on the Zenyatta, mind you, uh, going around and just... It was always funneling around. They was always funneling them into the damage. It was like two sheepdogs herding the the herd of sheep oh, yeah. into where they wanted to get in there. And then you let loose. Bob Dunsky, bye-bye. You're going home. Right. And then, uh, you know, you've got the Discord orb that's still ripping you apart from the back line. Uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a nasty cherry on top to add to the mix and definitely difficult for Connecticut to handle. I'm wondering if King's Row might be a little bit better uh, for Connecticut moving into this. They did better on Village, right? Where it was a little more close and personal and up with the brawling. So, uh, you know, King's Row, very well known for that in your face type of fight style, might play into their favor a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, we'll see what happens when we go to King's Row because the main tank battle was pretty even. Uh, they're on village, so I'm looking at that, seeing, uh, you know, how is that going to play out here as we head to London? Uh, I, I can tell you what, I mean, if I'm looking at Funkmaster, I don't know if I necessarily want him to get off the ball, and I'm not a ball, uh, ball enthusiast, but sometimes they're really good in these positions, and especially with the disruption that we saw there on Sanctum, this could be uh, the start of maybe a little bit new meta here going on in, in the collegiate scene where we're seeing kind of some of those uh, European comps come across the pond and then really starting to push in, uh, being able to run ball on almost every single map. So Ruby uh, did their job absolutely perfectly. Yeah. You saw the kite backs coming back. You saw the disgusting self-destruct that came through. So perfectly we shall in see. that corner. Well, we shall too. see, right? <laughs> oh, man. Right in the wedge of where the Symmetra wall was was not and was not protecting the I great placement right there. And you know, it's also the anticipation anticipation of where that player is going to be after you've thrown it. Right? You can, there's no redirecting after you've already launched the self-destruct. You gotta know that's where they're going. Well, taking a look defensively here, we've got the ice coal comp. Uh, I call Ice Cold with the May and the uh, and the Cassidy. Uh, we oh. used to call it something else uh, back in the day, but now I had to I had to come up with something different to call it because we don't call him that character anymore. Right, but right, right. Nell S is still coming out on this Doomfist, so Cloud is going to have to be very wary of where we see the Nigerian pugilist come from. High ground statue going to be uh, easily taken by Cloud right here, and does you know. Kind of like it wasn't ready for the flashbang to come through. Your boy Wings does get taken down pretty oh quickly, God. and Colorado's first defensive hold pretty much going exactly as they had hoped and planned. I mean, old charges aside, I mean, that was pretty comprehensive there. They had no idea 
<laughs> where Cloud was because Yahoo put him up there on Mundata's statue. So, yeah. I mean, loss of the mech, too. Uh, Easy Dirk uh, has to really pay attention uh, to what kind of damage is being funneled in by the Buffaloes because they are just absolutely holding first quarter here like pros that they are. There is the remake also coming through for uh, Easy over there on Connecticut, but do they see Cloud flanking them from the side? He's still putting in the aggression, but it is actually going to be Funkmaster going down first in that brawl, Chef. That is going to be an opportunity for uh, University oh, no. of Connecticut to push forward. They do have the spawn advantage on top of it, but that Ant Matrix from Divination is a bit discouraging. Glad that they're waiting this out for the moment. Well, the thing is that Funkmaster going down, but we also saw Cloud get destroyed trying to let loose with their Deadeye. So Sound Barrier is going to have to be invested for them to try and hold this point. High Noon being channeled here in the back lines. And, well, from the safety of his Reinhardt shield, oh! it's Funkmaster again! Oh, that is massive for Connecticut's push here. They are getting frozen up here in the blizzard, but they are still filling the kill feed. And, like I said, they have the spawn advantage. Shatter's committed! Catches three, and that's going to be the cleanup for Connecticut to go ahead and take this first point. Immediate answer back from Yahoo. Losing the May, bringing out their own version of that. They're going to come what? back and contest with a huge shatter. 4K shatter right there. That was the tide turning moment Can, or Colorado needed to hold that first point at literally the last possible moment. Oh my God. Funkmaster loses their life but continues the fight. They absolutely did retake it, Mr. Producer Man in my ear. Uh, they did on the back of a huge shatter coming out of Funkmaster. So that's off the table right now. Meteor Strike's going to be able to keep Nelt S in this fight. They got a whole host of stuff to go through. Self-destruct over the top, and it does catch Cloud in the back. Connecticut still getting another kill rolling through for themselves. This is a good opportunity for them to continue aggressing forward. Colorado trying to handle some of this movement, but it is going to be almost overwhelming for them as Connecticut manages to bring the damage, and that now they're going to go ahead and fully cap this first point. Yeah, but it took them almost three minutes. It took them a little over three minutes to do it. So going through street space here, uh, they do have a lot of options as how they want to aggress around here. I think they need to get a, in front of this archway, just old bookstore. Otherwise, you're going to be looking at a cloud flank. Uh, also, another self destruct Ooh. coming out of Ruby. Yeah, a cloud flank could be devastating. Um, not someone you want to get on the bad side of. We've seen a lot of really, really clutch plays come through. Does get the kill as he's booped up during the Deadeye, but it's not going to be enough. University of Connecticut still holding strong and aggressing as, uh, well, they are trying to take as much space as they can around this corner. Love a little bit of Ryan swinging in. Oh. Shatter drops three people on the Buffaloes. Connecticut moving forward. And I love all this space that they're taking after following up with that. Absolutely. Look at the stagger out on Ruby. Well, they didn't stagger out Ruby. So I, Not that as much was as an, I would have thought. Yeah. I was expecting a little bit more there. I mean, you hold that and you hold the damage mitigation that's going to be able to come in. So Yahoo, a little bit of uh, tech here. Uh, could really put the kibosh on this and force out the immortality barrier. Self-destruct already thrown and divination has gone down early in this fight. University of Connecticut looking really strong and making it very difficult for Colorado to have any chance at contesting the second point. It is a desperate attempt here from Bird Boys to try and stall out as long as you can, but it is still going to be Connecticut with a very fast street space. It's expensive though. It was expensive That's for true. them in the self-destruct, the ant matrix, and the meteor strike. So University of Colorado, they have some ultimates here once they all get leveled up together as a full six. Ruby almost has another self-destruct, by the way. Nell S has switched over to that Hanzo as well. So gonna be a lot more shield break on the table. Funkmaster's gonna have to be wary. And uh, Ruby's gonna have even more pressure to mitigate damage with that defense matrix. Right now, Colorado still holding strong, gonna lead with that amp matrix. And do they see, there it is, Yahoo following up on the Earth Shatter, trying to get some extra kills. And it doesn't matter because Colorado is all over those stunned targets. 
Yep, and they're going to go ahead and let the baby diva be uh, stunned. And, uh, yeah, that's a little bit better of a stagger. I still would have let it go a little farther, to be honest. But still, yeah. they got full follow-up on this, and now you can hold core here. You can save your resources, especially if you're Funk Master. You can just kite around the corner, let your shield recharge for a little bit, and come back into the fight. King's Row, the map of everlasting corners, and the perfectly sized Reinhardt shield width as we've seen multiple times in these fights. Cloud channeling the high oh! noon! Wow, two people caught with that, and it's just all W from there. I mean, yeah, WM1 going through. I mean, that's <laughs> done and dusted. Uh, look at this ultimate battle that's gonna be coming up in this next fight, Waffles. We've got self-destruct and the sound barrier. And then you're looking, I mean, five ultimates are going to be on the board. Depends on how fast Easy Dirt gets this uh, self-destruct. You could have a full six-pack. Ant Matrix also just came online, but there is a lot of ultimates being thrown from Connecticut. Two DPS ultimates at this time. Diva Bomb from Colorado gets thrown over the top, but not finding as much value as they're wanting. Right now, Colorado easily, well, not easily, but definitely managing some of the aggression coming through from Connecticut. They're gonna have to regroup, and Chef, they've got one minute left to really have a good last fight, and oh. see what so see what they can do. <laughs> um, Divination has once again chosen violence here. Uh, just used the app matrix in the last fight, and uh, almost has it up yet again. Funkmaster with a shatter coming up soon, so. Yeah, boy, I'm looking at you. How are you going to mitigate all these ultimates that are going to be coming in your way? Well, an app matrix should certainly help. Diva Bomb over the top two and doesn't find any kills. There is a shatter from Colorado, but it is a helpful Fox's sound barrier, keeping everyone alive and topped off in this fight. Funkmaster goes down as a result, and they, co they continue to push forward, Chef. Well... Uh, Shatter was used there maybe a little bit precipitously, but uh, Divination does have their Ant Matrix coming out of the gate. Cloud bringing out the Bastion? Nani? There's the Doomfist Meteor Strike coming through and an Ant Matrix with Cloud shooting directly through it. Connecticut needs to make sure they're staying out of this line of sight. Taken down by Nell S. Much easier when you're not moving and Connecticut has found the momentum they need to try and continue pushing this point all the way to OT. High Noon is being channeled and well, there it is looking for the damage almost pushed all the way and there it is, Connecticut pushing this payload all three points on King's Row. They did it in overtime, but they still get the three points. So GG's Huge. to that. Yeah. Uh, Cause I mean, Colorado really dug their hooves in there uh, and got themselves a pretty sizable hold there on point three, but my goodness, uh, Connecticut finally had the old economy in their favor to be able to push through. So let's see what they're gonna bring out here on the, uh, <laughs> on the defense for the Huskies, Nell S is showing us a very large hero pool, and I'm not yes. hating it one bit. They are living in the moment. They are adapting to the situations that they see. The fact that they could take down the Bastion in the back yes. from long range, absolutely huge. Because if you see uh, Yahoo get those kills uh, on the Bastion, then we're not looking at them completing the map. So great wherewithal, great target focus and priority. Man, good work out of the Huskies. This could help them get tied up in our series. I liked Nell S's switch over to the Hanzo as well for that third point. Um, really able to put more pressure onto Funkmaster's shield, really give a lot of uh, one-shot potential. And honestly, the scanner arrow is so helpful for your team when they're trying to anticipate all these different corners in King's Row map many corners you love to see it a uh, little bit of a uh, frozen punch look coming out here else has been uh, absolutely spotted out and uh, has to aggress out from the aggression coming in 
uh, hiding in their hiding spot isn't always the best idea. Cloud is going to be the per first person to draw blood, but he pays for it with his own life. Still, both teams are going to be evened up with Connecticut giving a bit of space here due to Colorado's aggression. There's a lot of damage coming through now on to the point as both teams are starting to get up close and personal. A good DMAC coming through for Ruby here, and that's going to give Colorado an advantage as they continue to push forward. Looks like the kills are still rolling through. Connecticut able to regroup a little bit here. Yeah, this is going to be a little, the first point taken, though. Right? I mean, you see the kiting coming back from Helpful Fox getting Nels and Samo out of the uh, equation there and getting them relatively safely. They're going to make their stand uh, right here in Bookstore, and I like the fact that Funkmaster and Ruby are up here just absolutely harassing the Huskies as they try to get around Big Bad Matrix 2. Shatter comes through and oh, oh it's going to be Colorado Shatter following up and finding the targets. 2K here from the Diva Bomb to top it off. Chef, what a beautiful combination of tank synergy coming through from Colorado. Oh my God, that's just disgusting. Ha, that's just disgusting and there you go. There's the cleanup that you needed to see. This is everything that you wanted moving forward. And now they're gonna be able to push past books through. They'll probably get to this uh, third corner here and uh, they're gonna have the blizzard at hand to be able to freeze them out, hold them, be able to get that progress that they need. Man, double DPS ultimates here ready to go for the Huskies. I, I don't know how they're going to address it. Nell S might have to use it just to contest the point. Connecticut's moving forward here and an early Maywall comes through from Yahoo. It actually blocks them in closer to the blizzard and it's gonna be Nell S getting frozen up in the end. Meteor strikes out by the skin of his teeth and oh man, it does get taken down in the end. A beautiful sound barrier coming through from Bird Voice to keep Colorado in this fight with a wall from Yahoo blocking off the Diva Bomb. Great communication coming through from Colorado, avoiding all of these different I mean, ranges and bombs coming up. I mean, this is a uh, war on like 19 different dimensions. <laughs> they have no opportunity to get around. And the, wow, I mean, they're coming at it from every single angle. They don't know which way to go. I'm really sneaky diva play right now. Looking to get this self struck in on top of the Huskies. I'm worried for the Huskies right now, Waffles. Ooh. I mean, she's been threading the needle as well and does a good job of knowing when people do or don't have utilities to use to evade the self-destructs. Big sl or a slam comes through, doesn't quite find what he's looking for, but that's okay. Colorado's still having a lot of traction. Bomb actually gonna be used here in the middle of the point to just re-mech and get a little bit of space for Colorado. Ant Matrix from Connecticut's gonna be mildly discouraging, but Colorado does have the numbers advantage right now, Chef. Well, uh, you do have Deadeye. <laughs> and here we go, Nell S once again on the Hanzo. Already 41%, there's a sound barrier invested. What a beautiful sound barrier too, catching everyone here on Connecticut. Right now it's a brawl coming through. The blizzard is too much and no one can touch. That's gonna be a round two completion for Colorado. Oh my God, four minutes and 12 seconds. Four twelve, and it's just to get one tick because Connecticut got it in oh. overtime. They don't even get a chance right. to attack. So one tick in four minutes, 12 seconds to take them to match point here. The Buffaloes are absolutely running on cruise control right now. Even with the adaptations that we saw the Huskies do there, Waffles, there was nothing much that they could do. Uh, they just didn't have the right cycle of ultimates at the right time. I thought that the helpful Fox sound barrier plus the dead eye was going to win them the fight. But what you didn't see was divination on the back end with the, uh, with the immortality barrier. Uh, just saying, nay, nay, you're not getting anybody. <laughs> Silly boys. Not today. Colorado is definitely showing us why they are number one seated in this league. And uh, well, why they have a pristine record chef. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is fantastic work out of it. This is pretty dominant coming from them. I mean, they've lost maps. Uh, they've, they've lost, uh, you know, points. They've lost fights. But they haven't lost the war so far. Mm -hmm. And they have really been, based upon what I saw last season, 
their willingness to disengage from fights is the biggest thing that I've noticed so far seeing them here in the spring split, even over their uh, their their fall split. They have really, really tried to get this uh, working and they fake the Mundata statue uh, comp. <laughs> and uh, not sure if it's intentional, Cloud didn't make it. Uh, I wonder if Colorado will say yes, but it is still them trying to continue on oh this God. push here. This oh is an God. absolute laser Yahoo! beam. Wow. Four kills in the kill feed from Yahoo on that push. Charged up Sim is nasty, Chef. Oh, waffles. <laughs> uh, they got cooked with the microwave beam. Uh, they they put it on they zapped it on high there and once the immortality barrier Look goes out <laughs> once the immortality barrier goes down it's done watch this focus on the immortality barrier then just zap what? zap zap there it is oh quintuple sex tuple kill, kill. Okay. yeah ended up getting the sex tuple there Jeez. oh my god that is beautiful and uh I love playing sim too so I can see it. <laughs> Well, I mean, huge props to the remainder of Colorado being able to enable such aggression. Obviously, those supports probably have some some heart racing moments where they're enabling such aggression uh, from either tanks or DPS. And when Yahoo rounds that corner, there's not a lot of line of sight when you're alone in the hallway, my friend. <laughs> no, it, that, but, was just a, that was just a, a full funnel of death. Absolutely. I gotta say though, Connecticut was able to push it three points against Colorado, and that is not something to uh, really scoff at. Not many teams are able to put Colorado on a back foot like that, let alone push them the whole map of King's Row, a map that you know everybody loves. It's like the most practiced map and the most loved map since Overwatch came out, right? So um, huge props to Connecticut and, you know, the ad adaptations they made going into that round against Colorado and, uh, you know, giving Colorado probably a little bit of catch in their breath for part of that round. <laughs> well, I mean, we also can uh, we can also kind of attribute it to it's one of the most played, one of the most scrimmed maps. It's called Scrims Row for a reason. Right. So, you know, I, 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 I kind of have to put results on King Row in that little corner is because everybody plays king's row right. everybody practices king's row so you should be good at that map you should be able to be able to do that so not taking anything away from the huskies but you saw the difference in level there and the difference yeah. of appeal and push that you see coming from the buffaloes there so see you uh looking at match point right now we're going to throw it to a quick little break here we'll come back with map number three in just a few minutes don't go away to see the conclusion of our series
Hi folks, and welcome back to our matchup of University of Colorado against University of Connecticut. Chef, we are about to head to Volskaya. What are uh, some of your thoughts moving into this match? Uh, Yahoo's disgusting with the left trigger, or with the left click. <laughs> you mean the left hold. <laughs> left, left hold, yes. We, we did not let, let, let loose with that. Um, no, I, I thought that, that Connecticut was really pulling themselves back into this series. And then Ruby and company just said, nay, nay. And just absolutely crushed their hopes there. That might be the kind of mental boom that takes mm. Connecticut out of this, to be serious. But we'll see what they can do here on Volskaya, because 2CP rears its head here. Uh, right. We'll see what, you know, it's all going to depend on what composition comes out from both sides on which side of the map they're going to be. So we will uh, take a look at, uh, you know, where we're at right now, 2-0. To University of Colorado, the Buffaloes over the Huskies right now, uh, facing serious point, keeping that pristine season alive for the Buffaloes. Whoo! This is not easy work. Uh, they have been pushed a couple of times here. Uh, mm -hmm. Waffles. They've dropped you know, they've, maps. They've, they've dropped maps. They've actually been taken to a, <laughs> uh, a fifth map. Yeah. So I mean, this has not been uh, the easiest. I mean, UTA, one of the best uh, teams right. in the country as well, uh, took them to five maps. So you have to think they are battle tested and now they're really putting that to bear on the huskies the huskies have lost two games this season but uh they they you know they're not on the losing streak they they have no. lost here and there to very quality appoint opponents so uh huskies if i am them right now i am looking at them trying to figure out how to deal with the twin dragon that is ruby plus the dps line because right. ruby goes in makes the disruption or or mitigates the damage when they think they've got a certain killing uh blow landing and then the dps just come in and clean up cloud and yahoo have been absolutely following up on everything ruby has been initiating i love to see it so full sky up here we go yeah i've also seen her uh follow up on those low health targets that are trying to regroup with their supports mm -hmm. dps takes them down they say oh run back to mom heal me and then she knows they're already on their way and catches them just before they can get within range. So there's definitely a back and forth play and I love the comms that are probably gonna be rolling through on them. Colorado seems to me to be the team that's going to take maybe that, that uh, let's say mild panic moment they had during Street Space and King's Row and harness that energy to bring an even more intense and clean fight to the next round. Um, I think the first round that we saw on Nepal where they went 99-99 and then Colorado came back for a clean sweep. Once again, another demonstration of the fire lit under them from those uh, maybe less ideal performances than that happened before. I mean, Cloud already hitting. The dynamite straight out the gate. Uh, Mel S is going to have to be very concerned here on this Reaper. And the reason why is because we've seen all day long the Zenyatta of Divination has paid off massive dividends. Oh my god, the thread of the needle there! Steph, is this deja vu from the previous matchup? Because we saw Zenyatta literally sitting in the same spot, threading almost the, I the same needle and a lot of damage and lethality coming through from these supports. And you've got to watch these wide angles here on Volskaya. Yep, I mean, I'm smart not to explode the dynamite there. <laughs> I decided that wasn't the uh, better part of Valor. Look at Ruby though. There's the kite, there's the damage mitigation. Oh my gosh, bye from oh, wow. No, Jeez. he survived. No, he does oh, not survive. No, that was so much damage. Definitely thought Ruby had him there for a moment, but Connecticut was hungry and they did not want their prey to get away. They are still moving forward here on to this point. Ant Matrix on one side, Shield on the other. It's gonna be tough for Colorado to push into either side of this as two ticks now rolling through for Connecticut. There is a kill going down on Colorado, but is it going to be enough? Yes, more damage rolling through. Cloud commits the bob and that is going to be Colorado holding strong here, but oh, Connecticut what? didn't get the second tick? No, they did not. It was Ooh. just so close. I mean, look at this. Divination popping the transcendence just to get back a little bit faster. 
I, I, I'm going to question that one into the next fight because you don't have it for Death Blossom or the Gravitic Flux now, and Easy Dirk is going to have that into this next fight. So it's all going to really rest upon Bird Boy's shoulder to get this uh, get this rally up and be able to survive through this ultimate coming through. That really shows you... Um, so Divination popping that ultimate and coming back using it for speed really shows you the value that Colorado thinks that he brings to the team, especially in just his normal, you know, Zen no ultimate online form. We've talked about how lethal the Discord orb is and just having him here on these off angles has been really difficult for Connecticut. They are down Funkmaster who will roll back quickly. And once again, it's Bob thrown into the mix to try and mitigate the one man deficiency. Now Pulse Bomb gets thrown by Yahoo with no kills found, but it is still Connecticut aggressing on to the point. Looks like they were able to cap a similar amount to last time. Not quite two ticks yet. Minefield's gonna roll through Chef and that is gonna be so tough for Connecticut to take that space back. Colorado really not wanting to give up this first point. Ruby d in the process and there it is. Second tick rolling through for Connecticut, handling the trickle of Colorado coming up. Yeah, I mean, I think Ruby was trying to get that self-destruct online, got a little bit over eager. And now they're looking at a four minute time bank going into point B. Now, both tank ultimates had to be used to certify that point as gotten. So there's a bit of time here for University of Colorado to build up ultimates, get themselves back online, especially with Divination having this. Ouch. <laughs> Ow, this transcendence online. Yeah, this is gonna be a tough ass for the Huskies. I mean, damage boosted Ash with the combination of the lethality of Cloud alone. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to push up this alleyway. Uh, there's so many long sight lines and Connecticut is going to have to dodge or mitigate some of that oncoming damage as they approach. Absolutely. Yahoo is going to have another pulse bomb ready to go here. Has been finding a little bit of success with the tracer. Um, maybe an echo, maybe a sombra to deal with uh, either that. Oh no, well, I say that. What an yeah. MO! A helpful fox absolutely helping out his team in the nick of time with that immortality field keeps them alive through the pulse bomb. There is a lot of pressure coming through and holy cow, a transcendence to enable the remet crush of Ruby. And from there, it is damage boost from bird boys for everyone else. I, I love it. I love it. And now, you know, they get to hold onto those mines. So that's a zoning ult right there to keep them off that's the point. True. But good. Ultimate Discipline coming out of Connecticut because they're going to have Rally Armor to help them sustain on the point, plus two DPS ultimates. This is going to be a bit of a scary ask for the buffs to hold here. Minefield's definitely going to be a big obstacle for Connecticut, but like you said, a big opportunity for them. Uh, Connecticut here kind of roll forward and still aggress on to the point, but it is going to be right into the middle of the minefield. Can they continue moving forward? Funkmaster going to go ahead and skirt out of the way. Yahoo's Pulse oh, no. Bomb! Oh man, this time it's a kill. Looking for the Brig and it is successful. Colorado holding this defensive point with 140 left on the clock. I mean, they're doing everything they can to not even let them get a sniff of the inside of the factory there. They're holding out here. They're uh, meeting the <laughs> pressure head on. But now, uh, Nels actually swapping off of the Reaper. I didn't see them press Q, so uh, no value gotten from that Death Blossom, but they still have the Dead Eye ready. What I'm looking for right here, uh, you've got to put the Supercharger into play to really boost up that damage and then maybe combo it with that Gravitic Flux. Mm -hmm. I like that uh, the Huskies here are taking a bit of a different pathing approach to get to the main point. Um, they're here in this alleyway. A stun comes through and it's massive for its guys. A great poop off the edge to top it off. And that is gonna be the doors opening for Connecticut. Yahoo knows he needs to make some hero plays here in the back line to really mitigate the uh, advantage Connecticut has taken. Valkyrie is gonna be popped by Bird Boys to try and keep their team in this fight, but taken down in the middle of it. Connecticut using that flex to really bring the value they need. Flashbang online, but 
stunned out in the middle of it. Divination still lethal on the Zenyatta regardless. It is Colorado trickling onto this point, trying to extend that time bank, but 15 seconds left. And is Connecticut going to be able to cap with time? They are. They do. And I'll be mean, just knocking off Funk Master, not allowing them to press Q before they let loose with those mines. Oh, absolutely yeah. massive. So, uh, you know, both points taken here by the Huskies. The Buffaloes, though, meeting the challenge head on out in the field here. That is uh, that is definitely something to take note of. The Buffaloes wasted so much of the Huskies' time. Right. Uh, them trying to get into the factory. So, I mean, did they give up both points? Yes. But look at the time bank. I mean, 12 seconds is not a lot to work with. Uh, we'll see what the Buffaloes can do here on their attack because, you know, 12 seconds, I'm going to say it again, not a lot of time. I, I want to see what Yahoo's going to do here because Yahoo had some good plays and had some uh, questionable moments. Uh, maybe need to work on that uh, pulse bomb stick animation to make sure that you're landing it on somebody. But I mean, they did land a couple of them, so I can't That's really fault it. Right, and one of them was a, a stick, but a helpful fox had that immortality field online and came in totally clutch for Connecticut. Unfortunately, the uh, self-destruct remake crush enabled by the trance <laughs> from divination was, uh, you know, those are two peas in a pod nowadays, and I'd love to see that more. <laughs> we were talking uh, about mech animations and how they come from space, and it should do a lot of damage because it's coming from space. Yeah. So we will see, uh, you know, Ruby here. I, I would, I, I love the diva. Let, let, let's be <gasps> perfectly honest. Oh my God. Game over. Right there <laughs> into two CCs. No way. <laughs> Combo. <laughs> That's all that was, was combo. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's gonna have to force <laughs> Yahoo off of the tracer now. They're wary to the ways. I would, you know, gosh, yep. This is what I want. Oh. I was I'm trying to bring that in. I wanted to see Ruby Sigma here. They need some kind of shielding. They need a little bit different and they need a little bit of uh, CC. And since you're not running the Brigitte here, that uh, accretion or that, uh, yeah, the accretion disc could actually be what they need to really address this point. Yeah, in general, the Buffaloes have restructured kind of a lot of their team members and traded off to different characters. Still a lot of disruption on the table. And, well, Funkmuster has been such a nuisance to Connecticut on, well, pretty much all angles. That's the, well, welcome to the life of a Hammond. <laughs> Connecticut still trying to hold this point strong. And, oh, with the shield broken, it's tough. What an accretion from all the way across the map. A huge lob from Ruby taking down her opponent in the end. And that is going to be the advantage Colorado's looking for to get aggressive. But this, you, you don't want to get too aggressive in the Ant Matrix. You got to be wary. And uh, you want to take your time continuing to add this pressure, Chef. Oh, gosh. Well, here comes the bomb into the small room. Good night. Oh. You're done. Bye. That's it. First point done. <laughs> that That's it. I mean, they waited. They bided their time. And look at the finish. <laughs> bye bye. Have fun. See you later. <laughs> One for the stats. <laughs> That's going to be, uh, what is it, five minutes on the clock for Colorado. So, you know, still feeling really comfortable with their gameplay, looking strong on those fundamentals, and uh, probably wasn't too happy about losing two points in the previous round. Coming back with a bit of a fire in them, we see Yahoo has the dragons online. So the real question is, who's going to be the dragon food? Now, oh, Funkmaster disturbing the back line. Once again, dragons are going to tear through as he corralled them into them. What a great communication coming through from the University of Colorado. Still more pressure online as Funkmaster continuing to put the damage and the disruption onto Connecticut. Minefields are going to be tough and Rez is successful onto Yahoo. That's going to be tough. Even more difficult for Connecticut. Got this aggressive Mercy comes through, but it is still Colorado. Colorado holding strong on the trickle oh and God. gonna finish with 449 on the clock. Uh, Jungle God said it in the last series that I casted with him. Murder Moth. <laughs> Mercy pulling the Glock out is now 
the murder moth, and I murder don't hate moth. it. Murder <laughs> moth. Uh, bird boys decided that violence was their answer there, and I, I wholeheartedly approve of it. So, win condition is going to be kind of wonky here because University of Connecticut, they've got a minute. And right. we're going to see what they're going to be able to do. They actually had 48 seconds added to their time bank. So, uh, University of Colorado finished that with 401 in their bank. They actually are going to have more time to deal with this. So, what they're going to bring out here, yeah, they've decided that they are not going to bring out uh, the tracer here for their defensive stand. It looks like they're going to have a little bit of a double sniper composition going on, plus the vision that you get from that sonic arrow. Aye, aye, aye. Can we, can we get a look at Divination, see where Divination is taking uh, up? Yeah, I want to see where Divination is going to be uh, throwing their orbs from. What are you doing, Divination? You, you, come on, man. <laughs> get that out of the way. I I do it, too. This It's bothering me. It's in the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see if Cloud can start off again. Uh, Waffles with another big dynamite out the gate. Oof, yeah, I mean, I hear those, look at that, 8% already online. That's exactly what it was last time opening out. And, well, deja vu, divination here on this high ground off angle. It's going to be Ruby opening up the kill feed. Got the damage boost needed to take down a helpful fox. And if Connecticut is going to have a good push, they're going to have to regroup. Well, they've got 30 seconds to do it. Funk Master is going to be able to get to this fight really, really quickly. So, yeah, holding on the res right now for Bird Boys. That's a great hold of that ability coming into this next fight. Nels has gone with the uh, Edge Lord again. I'm, I'm seriously concerned. Oh my God, the land! Oh, that is filthy, and that is exactly what we have seen from Divination in the past. His control on those volleys are beautiful, and he does not falter when he's aiming. OT bar has been triggered, and finally, Divination taken down from the side. It is going to be Sam taking a lot of damage and trying to bring the heat, but overtime bar trickling out. It is still Connecticut doing their best to keep this fight alive. It's the Lucio and Reaper on point. And is there enough sustainability to take down Funkmaster? Yes! At the last moment, Chef, Connecticut is able to take them down and they're capping this point. I mean, it was just too much uh, pressure coming in from the Huskies. They're going to give this point up. So that's three points on the board for the Huskies. They have 30 seconds to gotta get go, something go. done. They gotta go, gotta go, but they have Death Blossom coming into this. Nothing to defend against it, other than the kinetic grasp of Ruby. It's a long walk up this alleyway, and Connecticut knows there's a lot of damage on the table every time that they have tried to do this. Bob no way. does take down your boy Wings early no in the fight. Cloud absolutely dominating the kill feed, clutching it out for his team, bringing the DPS damage needed to pretty much prevent Connecticut from having a full team fight for the second point. It is a last desperate attempt here from the D.Va, but what a beautiful performance coming through from Colorado and from Cloud in particular. Did you see the Bob release? Coach Gun off the top point, let loose with Bob. Bob got up there and went down the backside and absolutely laid waste. And then Cloud with the aim down sights takes out the Reaper in the Death Blossom. Got one kill and then was put between the eyes and set back to spawn. Oh my God. So now there is a win condition set. You're gonna have to get a point on point B, but you got four minutes, 49 seconds to do it. Ooh, it's a long time bank. And the thing that Colorado can sit really comfortably on knowing they have much this, this much time is that they can build up their ultimates. If they're not able to break through the defense of Connecticut right out of the gate, that's okay. They can wait till they have guaranteed win conditions and then push in there with more aggression. Wow. Look at this. Nels has brought out the tracer. And Samo is on the leg, so they're going to have hit scan. They're going to have spot healing. A uh, little bit of a double bubble look here. And the anti is going to make the first uh, appearance here. So the Huskies Ooh. have decided that uh, full sale swaps into what uh, they've shown the buffs all day. 
I, I don't hate this. Double bubble can absolutely work here and it's gonna build up that Zarya charge so nicely. Colorado here already working to move towards or through the choke point. Funkmaster doing a bit of scouting as well, letting his team know who's on uh, what high ground and just how spread out Connecticut is. Uh, we saw a lot of these teams take oh, no. multiple angles and oh no, are they gonna see the, there it is, the boop stunned just before he could find what he was looking for. Great awareness coming through from his guys on Connecticut and well, can they continue to keep that awareness oh your boy fell really low does manage to escape with his life and connecticut is up a man for, for just a moment until cloud re or until yahoo responds well we'll see what they get done big dynamite once again oh my god they don't have anything to really deal with that divination taking down the zarya so no extra bubble here for your boy this should be the go sign for them and a nice slam with the follow-up coming through from Funk Master. Now it's time to harass the supports and, well, not gonna be doing it in that nap. A great sleep taking down that nanoed, uh, nanoed ball and, well, can they continue to hold? No, there it is. That's, no. that's gonna be Colorado. <laughs> no, 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 there's, there, there's nothing coming through for that. That's gonna be, uh, what, uh, 3.45 on the clock. They have to get one tick. They did invest the nano though onto uh, Funk Master, but didn't get any joy out of it. So uh, looking for, you know, honestly, mines and then Gravitic Flex to throw them up into the middle of it. W let's see if that's the way they're gonna be able to address this. Cloud picking off the Zippy Tracer while he's on the Ash. Great sharp shot coming through from him to give his team the advantage, pushing forward into the second point. A lot of, I mean, look at this. Bob is almost on line again. There it is, sent right as it's ready. No hesitant, no hesitancy at all to let her rip. And with Pulse Bomb online, the real question is, who is this DPS's next target? Oh. Lux is pulled me out of the Pulse Bomb, but didn't matter. Colorado is gonna go ahead and take the series. Yeah, I mean, that's just beautiful work out of them. They knew their win condition. They understood the assignment. And the Huskies saying bye-bye. Here's the Ash play that I just was ooing and Googling and awing over. Look at that! Right on the high ground. Such a good placement of Bob, just like you called out. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, and look at that. The finishing blows, I mean, burning Moira to death. So you had three different kill styles there for Cloud. You had the aim down sights, you had the dynamite, and you had Bob all yes. combining to get the kills there. One person, three people gone. Bye-bye, see you later. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm just going to go ahead and go now. I think, uh, I think you defined a well-rounded player. <laughs> yeah. And if that's not a clip for the highlight reel, I don't know what is, Chef. I, I do. Hey, I mean, definitely clip that. Somebody make sure that, that ends up on Cloud's reel uh, for when they move forward uh, in the scene. But man, I mean, that was pretty dominant coming out of the Buffaloes. This was number three versus number one. And now, uh, depending on where Connecticut lands up, they'll probably still be in the top, what, eight, most likely. I think somebody said they might drop to five. We'll see Maybe. when the shaking stand up next week. We'll take a look at it next week and we'll be able to report that to you next week. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, there's still more games yet to be played this season to see how everyone settles in moving into the playoffs. Uh, it does look like we're going to get the Hammond player himself, Funk Master, in the interview booth with us. So uh, we'll see you there in a moment, folks.
Hi folks and welcome back to EGFC. We have the Hammond player himself from Colorado, Funk Master in the interview booth. Funk Master, thank you for joining us. <laughs> thank you so much for having me. Congratulations on your win and you know, really fantastic job playing that Hammond and disrupting Connecticut, dropping the minefields. What has gone into your refinement in that character? Because your your skill at moving around the map and corralling the other players into your into your team or into your minefield just blows me away. Yeah, so Hammond is definitely like my worst main tank, and I'm definitely trying to get better at him. So I've been really just trying to like take scrims seriously and like any match seriously, just like to think more about stuff. There's some like movement tech stuff that I'm like not good at. And it's always embarrassing when like you're spectating me and I'm just like messing up the graph. Oh, but you know, in my mind, it makes sense. But I guess in the game, it obviously doesn't. Yeah, well, uh, we've all seen how gravity affects the uh, dead bodies in the game and how they go <laughs> flying around. So, <laughs> um, uh, and the Doomfist sliding off some of the roofs and rocks. Okay. Mm -hmm. Your ability to move around on Hammond totally uh, was very apparent. And if he's one of your weaker tanks, uh, tell me about which one is actually your strongest or the one you prefer the most. Um, it was probably a tie between Reinhardt and Winston. Um, I love playing Reinhardt, but you know, at times I'm like, I might be better on Winston. So I really can't say, but my Reinhardt's definitely like really good. And so is my Winston. Fair I, enough. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed you did not put a wrist in there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give you a mark against you right now. But you know, I, I had a chance to talk with Ruby early uh, before this fall split started. Um, you guys have a bit of a chip on your shoulder. You guys wanted to get a little bit farther last year in the postseason, so looking at where you're standing at right now, you're 11 and 0 now, right? And so mm -hmm. what has really changed? I know that you guys have, uh, I, I believe, a grandmaster or a contenders uh, coaching person on your team. So what is the mindset right now? What is the goal that you guys need to achieve? And what are you guys doing to really make that push to come out on top this season? So yeah, we really weren't like too happy with how the season ended because we really thought we were really capable of taking that. But unfortunately, things just made it so it didn't happen. But um, we have a contenders player that joined us and we actually have a coach because uh, previously we actually didn't have a coach. It was just basically self-taught from everyone and just everyone just trying to speak their mind. But um, we're definitely taking it significantly more seriously because we just really want to make sure we win this time. I miss Boulder. I, I grew up in Colorado. I've told Ruby this a lot of times, but I actually grew up in Colorado Springs uh, when we moved to America after my dad got out of the military. But um, I mean, the Boulder campus is beautiful. Uh, I know that you guys were starting to work on maybe getting a gaming room, maybe a little bit more funding as well. Ooh. That's a conversation uh -huh. that Ruby talked about. How's that going along? I think we have more progress towards the gaming room. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know how much I can actually say about it. <laughs> I don't know if this is like <laughs> confidential information, but I can confirm that, that we are uh, working on getting a gaming room and funding. Love it. Nice. Love it. I, you know, I gotta say, I'm definitely envious of that. Um, I didn't have those opportunities back when we were in school, Chef. Uh, you know, esports was- I have the internet when I was in school. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? I went to school in the early nineties. We didn't have the internet. Uh, <laughs> God. That's you it. definitely I'm didn't done. have esports either. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but it is it is so great to see that these these schools are putting the money and the respect and love that uh, this new industry does deserve. And you know, you guys have been doing really well this year. I think um, some of those results from, you know, the uh, the funding are probably speaking for themselves as your record is pristine. Uh, Funkmaster, is there anyone you want to shout out or thanks or give love to for what's been going on or just in general? 
Yeah, definitely. I think I want to just like shout out and give love to the whole team. I think all of them are phenomenal players. I think just everyone is just really trying their hardest to ensure that we really do like get to the finals and win this time. And, you know, especially like the, the behind the scenes too, like that's going to be Panda Bounty, Spoon and Arrow. Um, with Ruby being an amazing and a phenomenal team leader, as obviously Cloud being an amazing hit scan, Yahoo being oh. an amazing flex support, uh, Bird being an amazing shot caller, and a Lucio player. He has huge boops. And uh, Divination, Infamy, Carrots, whichever alias he's like going on into. Um, he obviously is a contenders player, so he's just phenomenal. And he has a lot of game sense, and it really helps us like coordinate and understand the game significantly more. Well, don't cut yourself short either. You were absolutely critical in corralling people into essentially a death trap of either your teammates or your minds. Uh, yeah. Sometimes that was the edge as well. We saw those uh, and definitely noticed them. Yeah. So Funkmaster, once again, you know, thank you so much for joining us and really nice job this evening and congratulations on your win. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. All right, folks, that is going to wrap up our broadcast for the evening. Chef, anything on your mind about what we saw today? I mean, other than being called out that I, I, I gamed before there was the internet. No, uh, it was a fantastic day of gaming here in the EGF. I had so much fun. Oh, my God. Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me being old as dirt. So, yeah, thank you for calling me out on that. You know, uh, I'll let you get me back later at some point, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I'll take a hit revenge. at some point. <laughs> Folks, it was a pleasure doing this broadcast with you. And Chef, of course, it was fantastic working with you this evening. Um, I think, of course, we both want to give props to Tyler Viking, who runs EGF and keeps this whole thing running smoothly. And, of course, to Aeon, our producer and the observer for the evening, bringing you the fantastic shots of the game and the production. Um, they're they're really the person that brings you the magic of this yeah. broadcast. Yep, completely agree with that. It's been a fantastic day though. I, I, I finally get my spree split started. I get to do it with you and Jungle God. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm feeling good now. I'm good and loosey goosey. Uh, well, I was stoked that you were able to, you know, bring it back here on the broadcast with me this week and uh, looking forward to what we see coming up in our next weeks. We oh. will see you then, folks. <laughs> Love y'all.